packing lunch for my husband tomorrow's gonna be a short day for my husband so i'm packing him something light i'm packing him some rice beans a little bit of carne en su jugo with a tiny piece of cheese and some avocado for his fruit i'm gonna cut up some apples and i remove the middle part just to be safe i heard he has to eat like 200 of those seeds in order for him to like you know die but i'm not gonna risk it i'm also adding a little bit of almond butter and a handful of almonds Today I made some homemade cream cheese cookies and I'm going to add two of those cookies, his note, to let him know how much I love him. I'm going to pack everything in this lunch pot with a couple more snacks, a banana, some type of protein drink that I got at the grocery outlet, and then his the rest of his stuff. Here is Bento exploring, probably looking for food or poop since Franklin is hogging all the food. That damn Franklin is just something else. And that's it guys, his tea and a breakfast bar for the morning. Bye! Let me show you guys how I made my cream cheese cookies. And guys, I'm not much of a baker, but I try. In a big bowl, I begin by sifting all of my dry ingredients that I'm going to list on the screen. I'm going to set that aside, and on a separate bowl, I'm going to cream my butter and my cream cheese. I'm going to add the vanilla and one egg, and I'm going to mix this until it's nice and creamy. Now, I slowly start to mix the dry with the wet ingredients, little by little, so I don't make a huge mess all over my kitchen, until it forms a little ball like this. I line my sheet with parchment paper, and I start making little balls with about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of dough. Stick it in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes until they get nice and golden like this. While the cookies are still warm, we're going to sip a little bit of powdered sugar all over our cookies and then store them in an airtight container. And that's it, guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers. Today I made them rice with pollo a la crema. Pollo a la crema is chicken and a creamy chipotle sauce. I'm going to add a thigh and a couple of chicken breast pieces. And of course, you can't forget that creamy chipotle sauce all over the chicken. I'm also going to add a little side salad so they know I care about their health and their green intake or their veggie intake with a couple of cucumber slices. Today they wanted three of these orders so I just packed them up for them, put them in a little bag, and along with this uh, order, I guess, they got two chocolate coconut cookies. I'm going to pack these little cookies separately so that they don't melt in this little paper bag with a couple of forks because I'm not sure if they have some at work, and some straws because they also got the option between soda or agua fresca. This was a strawberry and some the agua fresca. Now I just get everything ready for them including the drinks and anything else that's going to go on the side and she picks them up during lunchtime. And that's it, guys. Bye. Let's make today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers. Today, I made them spicy, crispy chicken sandwiches with pepper jack cheese and homemade Chick fil A sauce. I was gonna call this the copycat Chick fil A chicken sandwich, but I didn't have the right buns, so I just called it a spicy chicken sandwich. And yes, I did clean up the containers. For the buns, I used Dave's Killer Bread Organic Burger Buns, I think it's what it's called. I just butter up my buns and added some mayo, lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, the chicken with the pepper jack cheese on top, and then topped it off with a top bun. Here she is. Now I'm just gonna wrap her up in some parchment paper and put it in the foam box. Along with the chicken sandwich, they're getting a side of fries with the Chick fil A sauce on the side and they're also going to get two chocolate coconut cookies oh and we can't forget about their drink also today they wanted five of these orders so i'm just gonna pack them up and she comes and picks them up during lunchtime which is literally right away so don't worry nothing's gonna get soggy and that's it guys bye Let me show you guys one of the many ways that I make my Mexican rice. And yes, guys, there is more than one way. I like to make my rice in a nonstick pot. I'm going to begin by adding some oil and frying a little piece of onion. I don't always rinse my rice, but this time I did, and I'm adding two cups of rinsed rice into my oil, and I'm going to let it get nice and brown. While the rice is browning, I'm going to make my tomato sauce using all these ingredients I'm going to list on the screen, and then I'm going to blend it. Once my rice has reached a nice golden brown, I like to add my tomato sauce into the oil and let that fry for about a minute or two. And also, guys, it's really hard for me to tell you guys measurements because I never measure. I just look. But for every cup of rice, it's two cups of liquid. Once my rice has reached a boil, I cover it up and let it simmer on low for 20 to 25 minutes and then i remove the onion and fluff it up with a fork and that's it guys hope you liked my recipe bye 
Let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers. Today I'm making them Big Papa Grilled Chicken Burritos. I'ma begin by making a citrus marinade for my chicken breast. I used some lemon juice and since I didn't have any oranges but these rotten ones, I'm going to squeeze them in there. Just kidding guys, it was blood oranges. I'm also gonna add some machiote paste for color and let it marinate for a couple of minutes before taking it to my grill. Then I bring it inside, cut it up and start to assemble my burritos. I add a big scoop of some buttery lemon cilantro rice, some refried beans and then two big scoops of that grilled chicken add your cheese of choice i'm gonna use the marble and some monterey jack a little bit of some fresh pico de gallo some guacamole sauce and sour cream then i rolled it up and this time i did think it was gonna bust my face but it didn't and yes karen's i did realize my glove was ripped i also made a burrito for someone who has a huge no list they literally want nothing on everything that i make so i was thinking like dang girl you're gonna choke on that damn burrito so i just hooked her up with all the things she didn't mention not to put and the sarcastic person and me decided to write a little note on her burrito paper and no karens nothing's going to happen to her burrito i ended up not using the phone boxes because they weren't taking any sides so i just put the burritos in a bag for them and that's it guys i get everything set up for her her drinks spot a couple of babies to let go of the drinks and she comes and picks up during lunchtime bye Let me show you guys how I make my buttery lemon with cilantro rice. I begin by browning two cups of rice with a whole stick of butter. I grate two cloves of garlic into my rice and give it a quick mix. I also add about a quarter cup of onion, a quarter cup of cilantro, and a quarter cup of lemon juice. Three and a half cups of homemade chicken stock, half a can of corn, a tablespoon of nor, a tablespoon of lemon pepper, and about a quarter cup of pickled jalapeno juice. I let it come to a boil. I cover and simmer on low for 25 minutes. Once the rice is ready, I add about another quarter cup of cilantro, give it a quick mix and that's it guys your rice is ready for your burritos hope you like this recipe bye let me show you guys how i make my refried beans first in a pot i'm gonna render some bacon fat i remove the crispy bacon out of the pot but on that same grease i'm going to fry up a piece of onion and a piece of jalapeno once the onion and jalapeno have caramelized and your oil is screaming hot you're going to add your peruano beans i'm gonna add my secret ingredient to my beans and that's chicken bouillon just a little bit i also add the crispy bacon back inside my beans and give it a quick mash so all the bacon flavor can get all over my beans now just add some queso cotija or queso fresco and that's it guys this is how i make my refried beans hope you like this recipe bye let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her co-workers and my father-in-law today i made my cousin and her co-workers some quick spicy crispy chicken sandwiches i fried up some chicken thighs and put my pepper jack cheese on top so it can get nice and melted i butter up my buns then i spread a little bit of mayo added some pickles some tomatoes my lettuce and of course my chicken then i wrapped everything up in parchment paper for them and put it in their phone box along with the chicken sandwich they got a side of fries I'm going to add a couple of ketchup packages because I don't have no more of the little containers and a slice of chocolate cake. Now I'm just going to pack everything up for them and get everything ready for pickup. I also made a special lunch today and that's for my father-in-law since he is at the hospital not feeling well. I decided to spoil him a little bit. So for him, I made him a white rice with some corn and a big ass piece of salmon. He's also getting some of his favorite mixed veggies. To go along with the salmon, I'm going to add two pieces of lime y un chile pa morder. I'm also going to pack a little bit of watermelon for him so he can have a quick, fresh snack. And of course, I can't forget about his forks. I pack everything up for him with a couple of drinks. He's taking a water and a Gatorade. And I also put an apple there for later. And that's it, guys. My cousin came and picked up her lunch during lunchtime. And I went and dropped off my father-in-law's to the hospital. 